When it comes to painting, details count. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and I'd like to share with you today uh, a squad of the Space Marine Hero Terminators that Castlebrush.eu uh, sent over to us uh, to kind of promote and showcase uh, for them uh, here on our network. And I think you know, I think these are great miniatures, and they really kind of go along with my personal style of painting, which might not necessarily be yours, uh, but when you're commissioning somebody, they're gonna paint it the way, for the most part, that you want, so don't worry about that. Uh, but I think they're kind of one of the better mixes of um, price versus consistent work versus you know details and not leaving anything out on the miniatures, but able to kick it up into high gear and do some really sick freehand and high end level miniatures that we've uh, you know showed you in the past and hopefully we'll show you more in the future. So let's jump over to their site. I can show you a little bit more about the things I like about Castle Brush and then we can jump into the minis. So here is their website. It's just castlebrush.eu. There's the Abaddon we've shown you here in the past. Uh, it's a great site, very well designed. Uh, if you click on the services and prices tab, which you know everybody always, always wants to know how much things are gonna cost, right? So they have it broken down pretty well. They've got assembly, uh, converting, and then they get into the actual paint jobs themselves. And there's four different levels. And I'm kind of like, I'm definitely four levels because you kind of know what you're gonna get. Uh, me personally, I, I just kind of paint to one level and I can respect that as well. But what, what I like about this is they're very clear and upfront about what you get. Now these Terminators I'm gonna show you are what I think they said, and I have the printout here just so I wouldn't misquote anything, that they're uh, the second quality level, the champion, uh, with a little extra love, like some non-metal kind of elements, um, a little bit more freehand than normal. But if you read this, you can kind of see, you know, at the brush stage, you can expect most detail shaded and highlight as well, some extra accents, um, sample seal withering, I think that means the pure, they're right on the purity seals, scars and battle damage. But I mean, for the most part, you know, this is kind of your tabletop standard. This is what they can paint whole armies to, which is really cool to kind of be aware of, you know, your abilities and your strengths as both a hobbyist and also an artist, right? Because, you know, time is money. This is the, the I would say the base, even though it's not their base level, it's the base of that heavy metal style of painting, whereas they do they have a really crisp base coat. In this case, they're airbrushing it to get the fade. And then they're going in and doing the edge work. You know, and once you start getting up to here, you get more edge work, more details. And then this is just like kind of the emperor level is just kind of sick with even more freehand, which is what they did on the Abaddon. And you may have seen uh, the freehand of Sanguinius, the hatch they did uh, for a rhino. Just incredible stuff. Like it's hard to put a price on that, right? But they do have a pricing matrix in here. Uh, for level one, two, and three. And I guess for something like this, you know, you're looking at, um, it would be infantry, it would be your Terminator, so your veteran level. At level two, you're looking at 22 to $54 a miniature. And, you know, th like they said, they did a little bit more on these miniatures, which we're gonna show you. Um, so I can kind of see probably once we take a look, like what what is extra. But I, th I feel like at this price point, you know, for your veteran sergeants, your bigger models on, 40 mils, I guess that's basically Primaris at this point. Um, most of them, well, the characters at least. And, you know, I just think that is a good price point. Now, this doesn't include assembly. This doesn't include conversions if, if you want that sort of thing. Some people really crack out to that and then don't want to paint it and have them and, you know, have somebody paint it. And that's cool. You know, it's whatever works for you uh, to, you know, kind of get your hobby juices flowing and, and get your stuff to the tabletop as fast as you can. So that kind of gives you an idea of their price point. Now, they also have a, a little gallery on here too, which I thought was pretty neat. And they don't do it for everything, but they do have in here, and I think you get to it, yeah, you click this 360 gallery right here. It takes a second to load, so I've already preloaded it. But here is one of the Terminators themselves uh, that I've already preloaded. And we're gonna show you this so you can see if their pictures on their site are actually cheater pictures, which, you know, some, some people cheat, and they obviously don't cheat, but you can tell just how well the miniatures, now this is obviously larger than life. And you know, you see those camera phone pictures and you pick out every little defect and you're just like, that's just unrealistic. But when you see something like this, you don't really see any defects. You're definitely not gonna see any defects to the naked eye. So here's 
uh, the Terminator with a rocket launcher. And again, you can see the nice fade. You can see the crisp, you know, edge work and things like that. They did the work on the, uh, the purity seals there. They had this nice little kind of, I think it's NMM here. It's hard to tell. That might just be like a sort of bronze uh, type thing. You know, the rockets, actually, I think the rockets look better in real life than, uh, than in this picture right here. And you flip it around, you can see a little bit more. And then the base is done up well too, which is, you know, one of those things I always like to talk about is the devil is in the details. It's all about the detail work. And on this, at, at that level, although they did a little bit more and they've, they've said that, I mean, you've got really nice crisp uh, detail work here on uh, the cords. The rockets are done, you know, the little lenses are done. Everything is touched here in some regard. So I feel like this is really good quality for the price, but that maybe that's just me. Let's take a look at the miniatures. Okay, so here's that missile launcher uh, Terminator. And all these guys have names, but I don't actually know them. I think the cards are around here somewhere. But this is a very stunning, I mean, just detail-wise, the, the fades on uh, the miniature itself are, are very stunning. You know, they did a really good job contrasting that. It's that faux comic book style. I really, really like it. And I try to paint my stuff personally to kind of this level and then detail it out and do all the edge work. I don't quite get to all the edge work because it takes a lot of time. Um, but usually I get it at least to the tabletop level with the details done and, you know, the fades done. So for, like I said, even at the maximum of $56 for just to paint this miniature to a, approximately this level, there might be a little bit of extra work done uh, to the metals here, which actually look like real metals and not MMM. But I'm not exactly sure what the extra they did here, but I'm sure if you were interested, you could ask them uh, kind of you know, hey, you know, is this is this kind of like an example? And they have all sorts of examples on there. So I feel like uh, it shouldn't be that hard. And the decal work right there is done very well too. Decals are really hard to do over airbrushing. I personally try to avoid it, but they really nailed it right here. And it's uh, very hard to notice that that is actually a decal because it's seamlessly uh, flat and blended into it. And they didn't even go back with that. So it's actually a really good job. I don't know if I could do any better myself. So there it is. There's the missile launcher dude. And you'll notice that they did all the detail work on the base right there. Here's the lightning claw guy. And I really like these miniatures. I thought the um, Space Hulk ones when they came out, oh, there's a little bit of freehand that I feel like is extra. Uh, when the Space Hulk ones came out, I was like, oh man, those are the Terminators we always wanted. Because remember, Terminators have been around since 2005. That kid is about 15 years old at this point. So, you know, anything uh, we can get brand new uh, is always welcome. And these guys are basically, you know, 15 years young. And I would say the Terminators we always wish we had. Um, they they, they kind of blow out the Space Hulk uh, ones out of the water too. And here's the Thunder Hammer guy looking super fresh. And I really like their uh, style of metal right there. A little bit of wash, a little bit of... Um, oily metals, I guess would be the term right there. But man, very, very stunning work. And even the bases are done up. And that's a lot of, That's a lot more time. So I'm not sure what if that price point reflects that. Here's the leader guy and he's uh, doing his thing. I guess he's talking into his Buzz Lightyear uh, communicator right there. But uh, this, wow, the skull's very well done. You know, this is very hard to believe uh, that it is only their second level up and that they can realistically do whole armies to this level. It's uh, it's pretty stunning to say the least. Here's another one. I think we've seen this guy. It's funny because these guys actually, there's nothing on these models to make them blood angels. They were just painted up that way. And the only thing that really makes it a blood angel is these decals. There's no blood drops or anything like that. So you can actually get these models and use them for pretty much whatever, uh, whatever chapter. And uh, uh, they're just very stunning and uh, very well designed on Games Workshop's part and the standard is looking fresh all the way up to the top with nice fades on the back. Again, a decal that's, you know, lots of, is that decal? I can't even tell. Now we're at a point where I can't even tell if these are, no, those are, those are definitely, that's definitely freehand. <laughs> Pretty incredible. Yeah, that's freehand too. That, well, that's a decal, but I can't tell if these are decals, but it could be freehand. So these are very well done. And I feel like on the standard, you probably want to splurge and have it have it done a little bit, uh, a little bit better when it comes to commission work. And there's the flamethrower and man, just all of the detail on the bases, just looking super fresh. Where's that commander? The commander's done well too. And you could see it in the, in the intro that they actually went in and even washed and then highlighted the brass 
uh, in the crater as well. And back here, they did all that too. So I'm not sure if that's the, that comes with that standard, that champion level, that, that number two level, but it gives you a good idea of kind of what to expect, a baseline of what to expect if you're looking to get something painted up to that level right there. So very, very incredible stuff. I uh, can't say enough good things about these folks. They're always posting on their Instagrams. They put up a few things every now and then on YouTube. So they stay connected. They stay really dialed in. And, um, you know, I'm sure they would be uh, more than happy to hear from you if you just had a question or, you know, if you're looking to get a quote. We talk a lot um, on email and on Instagram as well. So um, always good things going on over there. Make sure to add them on all the various medias too. So that is it for this one. Uh, we are out of here. That's our last look at Castle Brush. Uh, here this uh, early summer. So hopefully uh, you will go over there and follow them or check them out over at castlebrush.eu. But don't forget, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click on that follow button so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.